Okay, let's go ahead and hop inside. But before we do, again, it would have been really nice to have a hose connection here because I could spray the steps off. The steps still have sand on it from our last trip out. Would have been really nice to have that cleaned off and a spray connection right here would help you do that. You actually have a water connection right here right here, that's propane, and then there's a water connection right under here. And if you simply had a hose that could connect into it so you could spray things off, and a little holder right here, that would just address that problem right off the bat, and it would be absolutely fantastic. The door is really nice. I like the door, I like the screen door. All of this is really nice, it feels really solid, and it doesn't feel like you gotta slam it really hard to close, which is kind of indicative of the quality you get, so that's really good. All right. All right, so the first thing I wanna point out is a pro and a con. The pro is how they backlight this area. You simply press the button right here. All the power's turned off on the unit right now, but if I press the button right here, it's actually a capacitive button. You just kind of touch it and it turns on, similar to your smartphone. This illuminates. That is super cool. What I don't like is this. Now, I like this rug material, super cool. What I don't like is that it's been glued in place, so I can't remove this and clean it out. I have to use a vacuum cleaner, and I actually find it pretty difficult to clean all this out. This is the best I was able to do with my Makita vacuum. Again, because once you put it down, there's no real suction because it pulls in from all the sides, and it's pretty difficult to clean. This would have been really great if they used Velcro or something underneath it so you could pull it out, clean that off, vacuum it out, then put it back in place. Okay, so now that we're inside looking around, my biggest single critique of the interior, and it's not the size because if you get one of these, you know what you're getting into in terms of size. So I'm not gonna comment much on that. It would have been the use of real buttons. These are so confusing. This right here, and nothing's marked by the way, this right here is master power. When I flip that on, it turns the batteries on, it turns my power on, which is really nice. Press it one more time, it'll flip it off. I'll wait till things start up before I do that. These are all your lights. Some are interior, some are exterior. But what I found is to turn on the exterior lights, I have to essentially have somebody out there telling me which one is turning on because I don't remember. And they're all capacitive. So you can just accidentally brush one or if somebody's sitting here in the yawn and touch back, they could turn off lights accidentally or turn them on accidentally. So I'd put real buttons here. I think it's just a better way of doing it. Then looking up here, this is all really great. This is all fine and dandy. I don't have any problems with how they've done this, other than the fact that most of the time these controls are gonna be up on your main panel. So it would have been nice to put all of these right here and have them real buttons, on off buttons like this. I would have preferred that over this capacitive stuff right here. And these tend not to work as well if your hands are really dirty or if they're wet. So that would address a big issue. Aside from that, I really like everything else that's up here. I like the way they've positioned everything. I like how visible all your tank monitorings are and it's very precise. So 74% general water tank remaining, 22% gray tank filled, nothing in the black tank. You know, this is just really cool how they set this up and it looks really clean so I appreciate the information that it provides you. Over here with the cabinets they used to use strut arms. Now in this specific one they use this really nice locking hinge mechanism. On some of the other cabinets and I'll show you one right over here real quick it uses these little locking hinges and these work pretty good. So they take up less room, they work well, um, they got rid of the strut arms. I don't personally know which one's better. You know, this is just a feature I saw, so I can't say yes or no about it. They hold really well. They work well. Uh, you know, they lock well. I remember they used to have a different type of locking mechanism, so each door and drawer locked, and they switched away. This seems to work really well. Even though the drawers down here, we found after a couple trips, they might be open. So I kind of prefer a drawer that locks, that actually has a latch that locks it in place. We have no issues at all with the sink, no issues at all with the stove. We've used them both and they both work really well. Again, the windows work well, but the thing I wanted to explain again, if I open up this window, push it out, and I have the opposite side window open and air is coming through, if I try to lower this, the wind's gonna blow on it like that and you can kind of see how it wants to pull it out of its track when you do that. So in essence, you have to close that window or you have to just work this one really slowly so it goes back up without, you know, all the material kind of pushing out. Not a big issue, but it's definitely something to be aware of. The pros of this is this window definitely outweigh any cons. I love these windows, and I think the US RV market should absolutely adopt these across the board. So now we're in the restroom. 
I really don't have anything negative to say about this space. They've done a good job. They've put lighting where it matters. You have lighting around everything. You have lighting in the back. There's plenty of lighting back here. And if you don't want too much of it, you can just turn this one little light on up here. The shower is absolutely great. We haven't had any issues with it at all. The shower door works flawlessly. So that works really great. No issues there. From a power perspective, from a connection perspective, believe it or not, I actually go out to read comments and feedback that other folks say about the units that they've purchased. And we haven't really ran into any of those. I know somebody said they had a problem with their ground connection. You know, everything here seems to be made really well. The inverter, the location of all that stuff is, you know, it's questionable. Some people don't like it underneath an area where somebody might be sleeping, but it's actually a pretty good area. And it's a good storage location. I do wish that they would have made these open on the side. And I know at one point they offered this unit to where it had a flip up chair right here to extend that. And I thought that was really, really cool. So I kind of miss, you know, having that on this specific unit. Underneath the chair is the inverter. You know, it's in a fine location for me. I don't see any major issues with the location there. Again, if you have a major problem or a fire breakout, you hope somebody would get off of the sofa before it would actually get there. The marine grade kind of fake leather vinyl material is actually really nice. So I have no problems here. It's the same stuff that you'd see on a boat and it seems to work out really well. Now the battery bank under this seat, let me show it to you so you guys can see what I'm talking about, is really, really great because typically most RVs aren't going to come with 400 amp hour batteries already in it. And these are AGM batteries. Now, I know a lot of folks say at this price point, they should have put like lithium iron phosphate batteries in. I don't disagree. I really don't. But here's the reality. The four of these batteries probably cost less than one lithium iron phosphate battery. But I bet they have the ability through purchasing power to probably make that not so much. You know, they could have put some lithium iron phosphate batteries in here and just had a better overall system that weighed less. So I would recommend that. That's a big one. You know, even if it does make the price change slightly, I hope that they can find a way to shave some cost to put those in, but it's wired really, really well. Again, this is as well as you would expect it to be wired in an aftermarket system by a professional. Looks great. I do wish that they would have put lithium iron phosphates in here though. I love all four independent breakers, which is really nice as well. And it just runs really nice. And I can actually hear a cooling fan running on it right now. Now stepping up here, if you lift the mattress up, it's actually quite heavy because it is a memory foam mattress and it wedges in pretty tight. But you have these little compartments under here. Oh, flip it up. So under this compartment is your amplifier and everything for your entertainment system. Now, instead of putting an entertainment system out here, the entertainment system is actually down here and you press this button to turn your Bluetooth on so you can connect to it with your phone. It has some tape and it was, it was right there, but I think it's supposed to be mounted like this. But anyways, you press the button, it pops up on your phone, you connect to it with Bluetooth and you can, uh, you can listen to music through the subwoofer and all the speakers on this unit. It's really nice. Again, I just wish that they would have controls on the outside so you didn't have to deal with opening this up to press that button. And right here, this is really cool. This looks like a furnace. So your furnace is under here. You have a breaker going to it right there and your furnace controls are right here on the outside. Under the sink, I like the location of the filtration system. I love the fact that they put a 16 gallon onboard water filtration system. So it's separate from your normal house water system and it filters it. So you can turn it on and off right here, which is really, really nice. So that is really cool. And then this water right here is from your main water tank. And just look how everything's plumbed and routed. Very, very nice and clean. And that's one thing that I've noticed about this Black Series is that everything is routed in a very, very tidy, clean and correct way. Over here, I love this little pull-out thing. Keep some paper towels in here. You can pull your spices. Just keep in mind, you're gonna to wanna to strap them down because anything that's sitting in here, if you don't have it strapped down, is likely to fall out if you're going over anything off-road with this unit. Now we haven't really used the refrigerator much. It has a Dometic gas electric. A lot of people wonder why they don't put a 12 volt system in here considering the battery bank that it has. I don't disagree with that comment. I think it'd be nice to see a 12 volt refrigerator in here. A lot of people are still real big fans of these gas electric units, especially if you're off grid. So it's really personal preference. These things actually cost a lot more than you'd think. So they'd probably save money if they put a 12 volt system in here. So I tend to agree with that. Up top is the micro microwave. 
I don't like this microwave at all. I wish they would go to a standard one that gives you standard type buttons, but I found cooking anything, this was kind of confusing and I didn't want to break out the instruction manual for a microwave, so I figured it out, but I'd really prefer a standard microwave as opposed to hitting the express button multiple times to get the time I want on here. This does work off of the inverter, which is really nice though, as does most of the other systems in here, but the main one that you want to work off the inverter that doesn't is the air conditioner. Now, from a solar perspective, you got four 150 watt panels up top, and you can see them if you open the space up, flip that up, and you can see there's two up here, and then there's two right here. I love that they're using that. Again, I just wish that they would tie them in to the air conditioner for some folks who would need that whenever they're out camping, even if it's for a short period of time, just understanding what the limits of your four AGM batteries would be. But yeah, that would be a huge upgrade if they could get it connected to the AC, simply to give you that extra cooling you're looking for. Now, the other thing I noticed is there's not really any vent fans up top. So your air circulation is reliant on you opening the windows so air can flow through. And I do wish that they would put some type of a vent or at least run the air conditioner fan so you can run the fan and recirculate air in here, which would be nice. But so far, that's all the pros and cons I've been able to kind of speak about. You know, I'm sure I'll discover more while we have this, but before I hitch it up, because we're actually about to take it out again, I just wanted to walk through it, even though it's probably 110 degrees in here right now and I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I felt y'all would want a better overview of the things that we like about it and some things we think they could do different. Overall, my current grade rating for this unit, I'm gonna give it like a 90. Love this thing so far. So much so that my wife is actually trying to convince me that maybe we should get one of these. What do you guys think? Anyways, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. We're gonna take it out. I'll probably record some more. I love, love being in this thing. It's super cool, super rugged. Off-road, you don't have to worry about some things you might run over as much as, you know, when you're towing a 17,000 pound fifth wheel. But at the end of the day, it meets a need for a lot of folks who just want that kind of localized or even, you know, distant off-grid camping capabilities in a really cool, ruggedized and awesome looking package. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll be back to talk to you again very soon.